So Mitchell and Cameron said they want to start expanding their family a bit more. Do you think that will happen? Um, I know as much as you do, really. I mean, it's really in the hands of the riders, but I think it's a great opportunity for a really interesting storyline for season three. I mean, we're not going to open season three up with them coming home with another Vietnamese baby on an airplane, as we did in season one, but I think that uh, it's... It's interesting because we never saw Cameron and Mitchell before Lily. We have only known him with Lily, so we don't know what that struggle was like for them to adopt another baby. So I think season three is a great opportunity to maybe see what process that might have on them, what, what sort of toll that might take upon them. How do you think the rest of the family would react? Well, I mean, my father didn't completely accept Lily, the little pot sticker, uh, you know, right off the bat. But I think that... I, I think that they would be maybe a little concerned that maybe we're a, li a little in over our, over our head already, so uh, it might not be a great idea. But I think that I think that they'd be excited about it. I think also the actors themselves are really excited by the prospect of you know expanding the cast. There have been rumors that Lily might be recast in the future. How would you feel about that? Well, I honestly I would hate. F for, first of all, the fans to be disappointed if that happens. But at the same time, you know, we are working with babies who didn't choose this as their profession. And, um, you know, if they're not totally happy on set, um, it, might be, it might be worth looking into casting a, a girl who's maybe a bit more outgoing. I mean, it's not... It's a happy accident that Lily is so stoic and, and, and quiet on set, but that also is a product of her maybe not terribly enjoying herself all that much and we certainly aren't interested in like child labor laws like coming down on us we, like, we don't want someone being there that, that, that doesn't want to be there and they're such sweet little girls that if um, we want them to have normal happy lives and Mitchell and Cameron there's a huge outcry that they hadn't kissed before the second season right. are you glad that's all over now well I mean now it's like we're not kissing enough or we're not kissing in the right way so there's always a battle to overcome um, I mean, I, I thought it was, first of all, very sweet that the fans were so vocal about it. I mean, it only means that they, they're invested in the characters and they love the characters, but I did think that there was a lot of um, hoopla over nothing. I thought that it was a bit over the top that they were so angry that we hadn't kissed, when really none of the couples were making out, per se, but for some reason the gay couples not kissing was, was bad, and you know, now they, they've counted how many times I call Eric, my partner, as opposed to my boyfriend, it's just they're, they're really looking at us with the microscope. So I really take it as, as just them being fans of the show. But I, I really was very pleased with the way that the writers dealt with that episode, Mitchell's issues with, with public displays of affection. And I think it's something that's very real. It wasn't a cop at or it wasn't like us trying to get out of a situation. I think that that was always the plan for them to have a storyline that dealt with Mitchell's uptightness. And apart from expanding his family, what else do you want to see for Mitchell next season? Um, I would love to see Mitchell more at work. Um, I think it would be really funny if he had to do one of those really stiff lawyer commercials where he's like, have you been caught in an accident? Well, come on in to my farm. And like, it's just like one of those really stiff commercials I think would be really funny for him to do. Um, I also think it would be fun to um, meet Cameron's um, father and, and see how Mitchell uh, reacts to him. Obviously, if there's this, this baby that might happen, I think it'd be fun to see how Mitchell um, sort of... Uh, prepares for that. You've had some great guest stars. Have you yeah. got any of, anyone else that you'd like to be on the show? Oh, there's lots of people. I mean, like, uh, a lot of actors have come up to us and said, you know, I would love to, Kevin Bacon and Karis, Karis Edwick both said they're big fans of the show and would love to be on it. Um, uh, we have people all the time telling us how much they love the show and, and would love to be a part of it. I think that in our second season, we really tried to scale back our guest stars um, and not just kind of go overboard as maybe we did in season one. You know, we were all kind of, other than Al, um, I almost called him Al Bundy, but Ed O'Neill, who was very well known before, you know, we were all kind of unknown actors, and there's that great gift of being able to give the opportunity to some lesser known actors to, to guest star in some of these roles. What was your favorite moment from season two? Um, that's hard to pick, but I really do feel like there, there was a moment during the Halloween episode where I was literally in a Spider-Man outfit scaling down the building up uh, you know the, down this building on the on the fox lot and i was like this is never going to happen to me again i will never ever be considered a superhero and no one will definitely be putting on a film for prosperity purposes so that was uh, really really exciting and it, definitely one of my favorite episodes of, of season two